What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> you don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has peanut allergy. But you're cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? parents do my mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer those are good jobs what's your job I uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um, social studies yeah like that you didn't answer my question all right a little further Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store, but let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Wanna 
head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Man, I'm glad you're here. 
Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. You need to find a weapon. Get out your gun. But the noise? Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Was sick. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. 